Okay, going on my comments, I notice a trend that is going on. I noticed many of you guys are having the issue with the grayed out air link button. So let's see if we can fix this issue in this video. Okay, so the first thing you want to check is your internet connection. And for that, you're going to go on Google and type in internet speed test. Once it loads, you're going to see this link right here. You're going to click on run test and then you will start to see a box that is going to fill up with a whole bunch of numbers. The higher the number, the better. This is your internet speed. Anything over 100 should work fine, but I would still recommend if your numbers are over 200, just so you can have a smoother experience with no latency and not that much lag. Now you might be wondering, what if I just have the cable plugged into my PC? Do I have to unplug it? No, you don't have to unplug anything. Just leave your PC connected to the internet through the internet cable and it should just work fine. Now, if your PC or laptop is connected through a Wi-Fi network, make sure you're connected on the 5G network. That's like the most important thing you have to make sure that you have the connection on the 5G network in both your PC and your Quest. Now, do I still have your attention? Have I lost you already? Let's just watch this video and see if I can get your attention back. Do I have you back? I think Booty grabbed your attention. Welcome back. The next thing we're gonna be checking is gonna be hardware. Now for the hardware, you wanna make sure you have a router that allows you to choose what bandwidth you wanna stay on, whether it's 2.4 or 5G network. Now, if you own one of those routers that come when you open your at and or Spectrum account, those routers tend to just be into a so-called smart mode, which automatically switches between the 2.4 and 5G network, depending on your distance and a whole bunch of factors that we don't really care about right now. So if your router looks like this or this, pretty much it's not going to work. You might need to buy a new router. Uh, there's many options out there. I will link a few in the description down below that are fairly cheap that could work perfectly fine for that setup. Now, a lot of the reasons why the air link button is grayed out is because the smart connection is enabled in your router, which it'll keep switching between 2.4 and 5G and your computer will not be able to connect even though they're on the same network. Now, if this fix your issue, get out of here. Nothing else in here really matters for you anymore. But before you leave, just give it a thumbs up just to let me know that it actually worked. Now, assuming that you're still watching is either because you like me or because this hasn't helped you at all. So let's try to see what else we can do to help you fix it. Now, the next thing we're going to try to tackle down is going to be your drivers and make sure that everything is updated on your Oculus app and on your Oculus Quest. So you want to go ahead and open up your Oculus app on your PC, go down to setting general and scroll all the way down and you will see your Oculus app version. My version is 37.0.0.79.109. I don't know. This is the newest one that there is. I'm sure anything after this should work just fine. And if you're in the same app version as me, just go down to your settings again, click where it says beta and allow public test channel that should also be turned on now go ahead and jump to your oculus quest click on setting experimental settings and make sure your air link is turned on after that you want to click on settings again system and select software update if you have the same software as me it'll still work just make sure that you update the software regardless just to make sure that the app and the oculus are both on the most latest software cool so now that everything is up to date you do not and i repeat you do not want to close down the oculus app the oculus app needs to be on in the background at all times when you're using the air link the moment you shut that off the air link will not work so just make sure you leave it turned on all the time okay i gotta stop now i sound like your mom telling you not to do something so after everything we've tried so far and your software is updated both in your quest and your app go to your wi-fi settings and make sure you're stuck onto the 5G network. You might get away if you have the smart feature on your router, but if possible, stick to that one network. Let me slap it on your face so you don't forget. Now, after you're all done, make sure you click on the Oculus link and see if that grayed out button is finally blue. And if it does, great job, you did it. So easy, right? Now, I noticed a lot of people, like I said, one of the issues is that they close down the app or they're in a different network, although they're using the same internet. I know it makes no sense, but I'm telling you guys, you have to stick 2.4 at all times or 5G. They both work, but 2.4 expect a lot of latency and lag and just a frozen screen. Now, if nothing fixes your issue, I would recommend grabbing your headset, toss it in the trash, and go get a new mm -hmm. one. The steps to make this work is fairly simple, so a lot of the times it could be just your Wi-Fi, to be honest, or that you close down the Oculus app. Honestly, that's the only thing I can see that it can go wrong. Now, if you want to ask me more questions and you want me to reply right away, I always reply in the first hour that the video is up. And hit the notification bell so you guys know when the videos are up and running. Anyways, we're done here. Go put on the headset on your grandpa and let me see how it goes. And if he falls, please record it and send it to me. I want to see that. You might be featured in the next video. Who knows? Just kidding. Don't